fluffy clouds. Hi Paul. Yo. Fancy a little bit of 85 percent black. Oh I do. Mm. Thank oh, you. Melting. It's hardcore chocolate. Smell it. Oh. Smells like boot polish. <laughs> oh, I put it on there. Thank you, sir. Everybody? Oh, a little bit. Just a little bit. Cheers. That's a little bit. You'll see how Bender's doing. I don't think he wants any chocolate. in the land of the lost. Back to the blue skies. This is the Bronx, is it Ian? Yeah, no, it's no, no, north of my It's okay. five barrels of New York City. Very, very, very picturesque. Queens, the Brooklyn, the Bronx, oh, is it? Manhattan and Staten Island. Okay. Robberies, murders. Well, Bronx is pretty good for that. This is all the bruises' fault. I shall have a word with him at the sound check. Turn the right spot right here. You'll do well. Very picturesque. I can hear. There's, a, you know, there's a, a pic, there is a beauty in ugliness, isn't there? That, that area. Occasionally, yeah. Well, you see it in Liverpool. Yeah. The old yeah. stuff, you know, before you get from one. Yeah. Well, finally, the certain neighborhoods through. That's right. Or down in, uh, down in Hackney or somewhere. Yeah. I can hear songs from West Side Story thundering through my head. Oh yeah. That's yeah. like. My favorite musical. Becoming very gentrified. Yeah. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from the first cigarette till the last dying day. So, the city yeah, of New York is. When so you're <laughs> What is it? Yeah. So I'm up with it. I met um, Tony, you know, Tony, the, the guy, yeah. the lead you guy. I was living in Hollywood and he came around our house. I was. And I opened the door to him and I just wanted to go, <laughs> Maria! I really had to hold back, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice blood. Yeah. Did you get to yeah. see it? I could see the smoke. I didn't see the, yeah. Didn't Richard, see the what's his name? Yeah. Richard. That's all it was. I saw it on TV. Yeah, we saw all that on television. I can't remember his name. Richard somebody. No, that movie was the best musical I've ever seen. My parents uh, took me to see it when it came out. I was 11. And I blew me away. You know. Just, I never liked musicals because to me, they were no, close. but yeah, this was so much. well done though. It was yeah. Leonard Bernstein, you know, it wasn't yeah, some yeah. hack yeah. writer, yeah. very classy. Yeah. So, yeah. and uh, the I dancing mean, was incredible, was in the actors were great. Movie. Natalie, what's her name? Yeah. Natalie Wood, who yeah. won? Yeah. 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 yeah, they still don't yes. know quite well. Yeah. <laughs> and it was Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah. Who we toured with. And they used to come on stage and I, I'd be in the wings as they walk past and I want to pat them on the head because they're all little. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're tiny and they're wearing like leotards, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like the circus acts. Eric, yeah. And Buck Dharma. That's how he introduced himself to me backstage at this gig. He came out of the darkness. I didn't know who he was. He went, yeah. Ian, it's Eric. Eric the Oyster. <laughs> <laughs> Them, yeah. yeah. Oh, quite a few. I remember because they were the they were the first to use lasers. Oh, remember the lasers? Because yeah. the who? Well, Laser beams on stage. Yeah. You know, yeah. to the audience, you get the smoke yeah. and you put the lasers on them. Yeah. And they were the first time. Yeah. Then the who well, jumped in quick and did them. And uh, we played, British Lions played at the um, oh, club in San Francisco and Eric came, dressed as me. He had a pipe and a hat, a trilby and a suit and everything. Hilarious. Didn't ask him to. No. He just did it. Yeah, yeah. I've got a photo of it. Yeah, I've got a photo somewhere. 
I was dressed as a Chinese Mandarin. Yeah. Well, San Francisco. Was that like an iron? My art yeah. wasn't it? Was exactly. that like an iron? Yes, it's still there. It's called the Kabuki, I think. With green green powder in it. Yeah, I remember that. And the kimono. And I had the best I had the best martini I've ever had in that bar. But I went there a few years ago and it's all fucked up, of course. They always fuck them up. Gramercy Park. It's completely glossy, high costs, rubbish now. Such a shame. You ever have an espresso corporates, martini? The corporates get older. The minute the corporates get older, they really get yeah. a little bit of. Uh, they ruin everything. There's a little town called Beacon, isn't there, on the Hudson? Yeah, there's a club there. And uh, Pete Seeger was living there for a long time. Yeah. I spoke to him on the phone once, and he's uh, he was about 85 by then, I think, and. Uh, He's a real old school, oldie worldy, you know, yeah, voice. I got to play with him once. Hey, did you? Yeah. yeah, nice. I was on a, I was in the, the bass player in a house band, a tribute to Matt McGinn, a Scottish yeah. folk singer. Uh -huh. And I was playing with a bunch of Scottish musicians that came over and did a tribute to him over here. And they couldn't get their bass player in for some reason. So I got called yeah. last minute and yeah. learned all these Matt McGinn songs. And uh -huh. Pete shows up with his wife and then uh, played. Yeah. yeah, Japanese. Yeah. Had dinner with them. Sat at dinner with them. Wow, great. <laughs> and uh, played um, Bach Loman. Oh yeah. It was the encore? He came right. out and led the whole thing. Oh. It's great. He's the only person I've ever heard use the word, use the word lordy. I said, I was asking him to do something with me, and he said, Lordy, Lordy, I've got so much on my desk, I can't take anything else on right now. <laughs> Sounded right coming from here, yeah. Yeah, Lance, the guy that's uh, got the guitar studio where I get mine lined up. He showed up with that so banjo of his in the old case. Yeah? It just the looked like a museum piece. Yeah, yeah right. What's that with his? Hey, what it feels like. Because what they do with that money, if anybody's got cancer or problems with cancer, kids got cancer, what they sell in the shop, Jim, they give that family an allowance, you know, to help them out. And I think that's fantastic. You're filming my filming. <laughs> so, are you going to sell the suitcase today, Brenda? Well, I. Well, if they don't, so I'm not fucking taking it home. That's well, no, you're not. Right, well, yeah, I mean... You uh, should sell it in the, in the 20, lobby. 30, 40 quid more. You, you can have it. You can have it for a tenner. No, not me. <laughs> not me, thanks. Just to fucking get a shot of it, you know. It's got all those signatures on it. What, what, what's the story with that suitcase? Well, Mark, I, I bought that suitcase from... Um, in 1953, uh, little that, shop in Upton. Where was that Ruth some lives. spooky tooth swag? No, no. <laughs> I bought that case for six quid, I think. And the shop that I bought it from, I also bought this coat from. And what they do, they the money that they make from the sales of whatever they sell in that community. If anybody's got problems with cancer, kids, uh, anybody needs cancer care they donate to that person, whoever it might be. So nice, yeah. That's what I'd like to do. So you're going to sell I mean, that suitcase? Not Are you going to take it back and sell it back to them for no, 20 quid? sell it here. Because <laughs> I want my cut. You can donate my cut, I guess. No. <laughs> Well, well, well. I thought it was going to go to Merch and, and they were going to do a, yeah. Mick Brown was going to do a live they are. auction. They are, yeah. 20, 20, do I hit 25, 25, 25, 25, 30, 30, 30, 35, 35, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, well, you could have attached wheels we to it. We just hated that. Yeah, I, 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 I was thinking about putting a skateboard on that. See what I do. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Maybe Primark has a cheap skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. This must be part of the. Uh, yeah, the hotel is in the venue. Yeah. So there's no, there's no driving anywhere. Yeah, my bed's on stage. <laughs> I should be sleeping publicly. Tonight. He's sleeping under the piano. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Protection, rejection kind of thing. Yeah, man. These clouds are fantastic. Street and I'm feeling groovy. <laughs> Slow down, you're moving too fast. <laughs> Got to make the morning last. Now, how to get to the hotel? That's the. Uh, it's right around the corner. Okay. It's part of the same building, I think. Yeah. It is. I know. It's just how to get in. The door. On Broadway. See? So, Morgan Fisher, yes, keyboardist York. extraordinaire. How do, you, how do you feel about this gig in New York City? You're going to rock New York? Of course we are, but it is the calm before the storm, my dear. I see. Relaxing, while others, I hear, are all meeting in pubs and bars around here, getting high and excited before the shower and talking to each other. I wish I could join them, but, uh, uh -uh. you know, got to stay, got to keep it, keep the energy. <laughs> Incredible New York skyline. Know which way That's a looking. really great view. Right over here. Mm -hmm. A rare sunny day in New York City. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, very lucky with the weather. Yesterday was terrible in Boston. It was raining. It's always raining in Boston. That's nothing oh. new. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I feel like every time I've been know. there anyway. Huh. I like this. It would be great at sunset or sunrise. <laughs> Any last words that you'd like to say for this yeah, video? I'm hungry. And I want to drink, but I shouldn't drink too much before the show. After the show, anything goes. So. Good. Maybe they put something in Worcester. Go into the old parts. It shows you uh, how the name has changed to Worcester as it was, sort of six hundred years ago. Worcester. So it was worst, and then Worcester. Yeah. And worse. Yeah. yeah, it got worse and, and, and worse. Absolute worst. Waster. War waster.